हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू न्यू यू फार्मासिस्ट माई सेल्फ हर्ष यादव एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट एंटी बैक्टीरियल एंटीबायोटिक्स सो टू इनिबीट द ग्रोथ ऑफ बैक्टीरिया वी हैव टू यूज सम टूल्स टू इनिबीट देयर ग्रोथ लाइक सेल वॉल सिंथेसिस इनिबीशन प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस इनिबीशन सेल मेमरेन सिंथेसिस इनिबीशन डी एन ए आर एन ए सिंथेसिस इनिबीशन बाई दिस फोर टेक्निक्स वी आर गोइंग टू स्टॉप द ग्रोथ ऑफ बैक्टीरिया and that's why we are uh, going to say or termed as a antibiotics it will kill the bacteria whether it is called gram positive or gram negative uh, to inhibit the growth of bacteria there are several active site where antibiotics going to be work so first one is your cell wall to uh, inhibit the cell wall there is a antibiotic uh, uh, bacitracin second one is your uh, cyclosporine cycloserine vincomycin penicillin for cell membrane synthesis inhibition there is antibiotic name uh, polymyxin amphotericin b and neostatin then the sec uh, third one is your ribosome and for this there is chloramphenicol 50s subunit uh, erythromycin and lincomycin and 30s Uh, amino glycoside and tetracycline for nucleic acid synthesis uh, inhibition that actinomycin and griseofulvin is being used and uh, the last one for dna mitomycin c and for na rifampin is being so today we are going to talk about typhoid fever first part is introduction caused by an infection with gram negative bacteria salmonella typhi और सालमोनेला पैराटाइफी ए बी और सी एंट्रिक फीवर टू डिस्क्राइब बोथ टाइफॉइड एंड पैराटाइफॉइड फीवर्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू कम ऑन ट्रांसमिशन हाउ दिस बैक्टीरिया ट्रांसमिट टू अदर ह्यूमन्स सो ह्यूमन्स आर ओनली रिजर्व वायर डायरेक्ट कॉन्टैक्ट और इन डायरेक्ट कॉन्टैक्ट वी आर कॉन्टेमिनेटेड फूड एंड वाटर टाइफाइड फीवर पैथोजेनिस ट्रांसमिटेड वी आर फीकल ओरल रूट इंजेस्टेड ओरली सर्वाइव गैस्ट्रिक एसिड दैट इज मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड एंटर्स द ड्यूडेनम पेनीट्रेट इफिथीलियम एंड इनवेड लिम्फॉइड टिश्यू थ्रू एम सेल एज अ पार्ट ऑफ माइ टाइफाइड फीवर क्लिनिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन फीवर एबडोमिनल पेन सिम्टम्स ऑनसेट अकर्स 5 to 21 days after ingestion depends on age health gastric acidity and number of organism first week step wise fever second week abdominal pain and rose spot you can see on the slide and third week intestinal bleeding and hepatosplenic uh, splenomegaly intestinal perforation symptoms diarrhea and constipation occur with equal frequency headache disorder sleep patterns typhoid encephalopathy typhoid fever diagnosis and treatment diagnosis suspect if exposure to endemic area 3 days and more of fever and gi symptoms blood and stool culture bone marrow treatment depends on local resistant pattern multi drug resistance extensively extensively drug resistance strains first line fluoroquinolones azithromycin typhoid over other consideration relapse 2 to 3 weeks after uh, uh, resolution of fever risk of relapse depends upon antibiotic use chronic carriage asymptomatic 1 to 5% of patient excretion of organism for more than 12 months after resolution of acute illness adult women biliary tract disease are the risk factors how you are going to prevent fresh water sanitation and hygiene and vaccinations are the best prevention factor from typhoid fever so i hope you are like my video please do like comment and subscribe my channel thank you
potentially life-threatening illness caused by the bacterium Salmonella typhi. In the United States, about 400 cases occur each year, and 75% of these are acquired while traveling internationally. Typhoid fever is still common in the developing world, where it affects about 21.5 million persons each year and causes numerous deaths. Although there are not many cases of the disease in the United States, it is one of many microbial pathogens that pose a potential risk of emergence. Salmonella typhi lives only in humans and is not known to infect other animals. Persons with typhoid fever carry the bacteria in their bloodstream and intestinal tract. In addition, a small number of persons, called carriers, recover from typhoid fever but continue to carry the bacteria. Both ill persons and carriers shed Salmonella typhi in their feces. Once Salmonella typhi bacteria are eaten or drunk, they multiply and spread into the bloodstream. The body reacts with fever and other signs and symptoms. Persons with typhoid fever usually have a sustained fever of as high as 103 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. They may also feel weak or have stomach pains, headache, or loss of appetite. In some cases, patients have a rash of flat, rose-colored spots. The only way to know for sure if an illness is typhoid fever is to have samples of the stool or blood tested for the presence of Salmonella typhi. Even if one symptoms seem to go away, that person may still be carrying Salmonella typhi. If so, the illness could return, or they could pass the disease on to other people. In fact, if one works at a job where they handle food or care for small children, they may be barred legally from going back to work until a doctor has determined that they no longer carry the bacteria. These are just a few things to know about Salmonella typhi and typhoid fever.